Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about US-Russian relations. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains paper. So let's begin with the first topic that is why is it in the news. Now, summit meeting with Russia is to communicate and not about deliverables. This is a statement made by the White House. This statement is making clear that we are going to have a summit with the Russian counterpart when it comes to what about the commitment and communicate the challenges that are being posed by Russia and likewise from US to Russia and the rest of the world to each other and not about deliverables like what is the commitment and when will be they delivered. That is not going to be on the table but communicate. And if we talk about where is it going to take place, it is going to take place on the 16th of June in Geneva and after the US has already had its summit of G7 in the United Kingdom, the NATO meeting, and also European Union and the US summit. It also took place in Brussels. So now, Russia is going to be tackled with, if we talk about the highlights, communicating is going to be the key here. And in terms of the timing, it is hard from the US perspective to find a better context for a meeting with the Russian president than after time spent with the world's leading market economies. Now, what are going to be the contents of this meeting? The New START agreement is a move forward in the relationship as it was extended costs for election interference. Sanctions were put on certain individuals from Russia because they tried to subvert the democracy of US. That is, according to the US, solar winds, which is a malware and it broke into the links into the proper security and integrity, the solar wind malware, it broke into the integrity of those federal departments. Russian buildup on the Ukrainian border was also tackled with so cyber and ransomware domain. This is also going to be the content. As according to US, the relationship of US and Russia is a relationship of verification. That means are they true to their commitments? Are they, is their relationship on the right path? This is checked by each other. And it is not a relationship of trust because it is a very, in contemporary times also, US and Russian relationship has been very different from the rest of the world. It's about a relationship of clarifying what our expectations are and laying out that if certain types of harmful activities continue to occur, there will be responses from the United States. Both houses of Russian parliament in February approved the extension of the new START treaty for five years. This treaty actually came into being on the 5th of February 2011 and it was done. After a recent, that means during the early months of 2021, telephonic conversation between the newly elected USA president and Russian president. It's a nuclear treaty. It's a treaty between the United States of America and Russia on measures for the further reduction and limitation of the strategic offensive arms. So this provides a common ground for them. The term strategic offensive arms, it applies to nuclear warheads deployed by strategic nuclear delivery vehicles. And these are intercontinental ballistic missiles with a range exceeding 5,500 kilometers, strategic bombers, warships, and cruise missiles, including air and sea launched cruise missiles. Moving forward, as according to this news piece, you can see US institutes new Russia sanctions in response to Solar Winds hack. Solar Winds is a malware. It broke into at least 250 federal department agencies, try to hack the data and use it for its own purpose. And the US has alleged that this attack has come from Russian Federation with the proper knowledge of from the Russian government. This is what US is saying. And also because of the intervention in the election process, sanctions were imposed. So that's a challenge. Moving on, you can see how a Russian cyber attack could wreak havoc. These all things could happen like widespread Poisoning, treatment plant, leak chemicals into drinking water, freezing to death like cyber invaders, shut down power grids and everything. So these are the possible events that could have happened. And the Russian buildup in Donetsk and the eastern area of eastern parts of Ukraine, this is actually a problem that is very much on the table right now when we talk about the proper troops buildup by Russia near the eastern region of Ukraine. This is also going to be talked about for sure. And if we talk about Ukraine, Ukraine was a part of former USSR and when it broke away, till 2014 everything was fine. When 2000, when in 2014 Ukraine started to build relationship with the European Union, that did not go down well with 
Russia. And after the annexation of Crimea, we know that's another story. Moving on, let's talk about US-Russia relationship. Now, for more than two decades, bilateral relations have cycled between periods of cooperation and confrontation as well. Tensions over conflicts in Ukraine and Syria are now buffeting the relationship. And right now, we know when we talk about cooperation, of course, Afghanistan peace process has been on the table when it comes to cooperation between Russia and US. The US and Russia continue to need one another, of course. And that is to achieve many of their most important priorities. The CSIS Russia and Eurasia program tracks the development in the bilateral relationship and engages in analysis as both its current state and potential future developments. The US and Russia have shared interests in many areas such as nuclear security, non-proliferation, regional security in Europe and Eurasia, countering terrorism, violent extremism, managing the upheaval in the greater Middle East. So that is all on the cooperation agenda. Moving on, let's talk about if tensions do not decrease. Tension hasn't been increased, but if tension gets elevated, what could be the impact? India has a lot of interest in West Asia. India is also investing a lot in the Chabahar port, which will move it towards international north-south transport corridor. If the problems between US and Russia do not settle, then sanctions would be in place and that would cause India to be very careful of its investment in INSTC. Power asymmetry and power concentration, that is going to be the entire issue. We do not want a world where Russia and, again, US, they are against each other. We do not want that to happen because that will create blocks. As we all know, that Russia is moving closer to China. And if China, Russia and Pakistan make a nexus, India has a friendly relationship with Russia. That is for sure. The vaccine tourism is going on. If we talk about the first foreign vaccine, that is Sputnik, that is to be manufactured in India. So we have a very friendly relation. But again, India walks on a tightrope between balancing its relationship with Russia and US. Impact on the defense sector, as we know, India has a great, humongous amount of defense interest in US as well as the Russia. Russian Federation. So if India is, of course, now it's indigenizing its defense sector, but still we are not very powerful in indigenizing our defense sector from the very beginning, not right now. We still depend on US and Russia. So that's going to be another problem for some time. Upsetting the balance of trade. Yes, because of this only. Let's move on to the conclusion. We need a world where Russia and the US, if they do not go too well, they should also not try to go too bold on each other. We want a power balanced world, especially post-COVID era, because we need to recover and come back with a bounce. We should not go from struggling with COVID-19 to moving towards another war, even if it's a cold war or a trade war. So we need proper cooperation between these two countries. These two are very powerful countries, very friendly countries of India. And we need them to tackle all the challenges which are looking into our face right now. That is climate change, nuclear warhead buildup. Also, there are so many environmental issues that are going on. Trade war that is still looming. So we need these two countries to be very cooperative and coordinating. Moving on, let's talk about our question. Discuss the impacts of a tensed US-Russian relationship on India in 250 words. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.